Hello guys, welcome to another exciting class on Benko Institute of Technical Studies. Uh, I trust you guys are doing well and I trust you um, have liked our videos so far, the other videos we've posted and I trust you've uh, gotten good practical skills and knowledge from the videos we've posted. If you've loved our videos and you'd love to see more, please do so well to subscribe and turn on your notification. Do not also forget to send this link and this video to friends and family so they are in the know of beautiful channel where uh, things are being posted and they can learn from. And do not also forget to comment uh, in our comment section so we can uh, interact easily. Okay, we have our LMS generator here. Okay, on today's class, we are looking at how to check for check the oil level of your generator okay most of the times some people just use generators um, especially those that are not technically inclined and don't know much about generators they just use generators without really knowing how to check the oil level even when it's very visible for them and very easy to check so we'll try to make it easy for everybody even if you haven't fixed or touched a generator before all right uh, if you look at the generator, this particular point is where the oil is housed. This is where the oil is housed, and this is where um, this is where you put your oil. This is you get a funnel. Uh, I think the video a video on on how to uh, refill your oil easily. Uh, will be shown at the top of your screen please do where to click so you get get it better there this is where the oil is, is and this is where you turn your oil when your oil is there you lock and eventually you put on your generator all right now the oil in this generator particularly i don't know if we can look into this place well uh the oil in this generator is acetylene gone down after constant usage the acetylene gone down and originally this is a dipstick this dipstick is just when you insert it in it tells you the level of your oil that's a function of this dipstick the stick tells you the level of your oil if you look at this dipstick carefully there is H here there is the H there is the H here, this is the H, H, and this is the L. This is the high point, and this is the low point. When your oil gets to this low point, there is need to refill. When it gets to this high point, there is no need refilling. It means your oil is gauged properly. Now, I'm going to clean this dipstick and dip it inside our crankcase. If it gets below this low point or at this low point, then that should tell us we need to refill. Alright, I've cleaned it up properly. This is it. I've cleaned it up properly. I'm going to dip it in now. Let me lock. Okay, I've locked it now and um to reopen so we get better at what I tried explaining. Okay, after dipping this dipstick inside the oil inside the oil compartment it's discovered that it didn't even touch oil it didn't even get down to the low part what that means is we are tempering with the workability of our generator if this persists our generator that goes off on its own because i still believe the oil sensor is still very much functional it goes off on its own and then we have to refill for it to come back so this is it if you have a generator like this i would like you to quickly go and check if your generator oil is gauged properly by inserting this dipstick and checking the point at which it is if it's at the low point please do well to refill and it's at the high point that is the appropriate um, oil level for your generator all right that is it from us for this class um, a video 
on how to properly refill um, a generator, how, how to properly refill the oil of your generator will be provided in the next link. Please do well to watch that video so you get uh, better details on how to refill your generator oil when your generator oil is short. That is it from us. We successfully know how to check the oil level of a generator and it won't be a difficult uh, issue if we are faced with such um, problem. Alright, till we meet in our next class, please do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get first-hand information when videos are posted on this channel.